Hi guys, so welcome to another episode of Discussion. And in this episode, we are fortunate to be able to talk to a good friend of mine. His name is Fazli Talib and he is the founder of Faz Perfume. Right? So we are going to talk to him and ask him a little bit about his business strategy and how he managed to sell his perfume in the halal market. All right, so let's talk to him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Discussion. And in this episode, we are very fortunate to have a very good friend of mine, Mr. Fazli Talib. And Mr. Fazli has been in the business community for a very long time. He has been supporting me in my exhibition and uh, has his own brand called Mr. Crepe. But eventually, he now pivoted to the perfume industry and he has his own brand which is called Fast Perfume as you can see right here, F-A-Z, Fast Perfume. So this perfume that I'm holding right now is of course courtesy of him. Thank you very much Fazli for sponsoring this. In fact, I would say that this is a quality uh, packaging product and uh, and I would say that I like the branding as well. It's called Fast Executive and uh, the smell of it is really, really nice. I've tried and tested it and I kind of like it as well. So if you guys are interested to get one, uh, you can always contact Fazli. Okay then, Fazli, uh, yes. tell, us, tell us a little bit about why you decide to move from Mr. Crepe to Fast Perfume? Okay, uh, basically uh, for Mr. Crepe is still ongoing. Uh, it's just that um, I do see opportunities. You see, when there's uh, opportunities uh, available for you in the perfume industry, where not many uh, Malay Muslim community are actually doing their own brand of uh, perfumes. So I told myself, why not? I give it a try and uh, see how. Because uh, Beauty products is actually a billion dollars uh, industry and there are many avenues that you can explore. And one of them, what I look at it, it will be more to perfumes where both men and women can also use it. Unlike if you're talking about beauty, you're talking about cosmetic, makeups, which is uh, targeted only at one area. But for perfumes, it can go uh, a wider spectrum from uh, teenagers to working adults and also to elderly as well. So I see there's a bigger market and uh, for me, I would like to do a lot of research where perfumes uh, in the halal industry is uh, quite very, what I can say is uh, not many uh, perfumeries really taking care of the halal market. Okay, When you're talking right. about halal market, uh, people are concerned that oh, whether the perfume is halal, whether it can be being used for solar or... You know, uh, whether the ingredient is it uh, permissible and uh, okay for your skin and, all, and such. So uh, that's why I go into a lot of, uh, of my time to do research into the perfumeries. And uh, in the end, I end up in doing my own brand of right. uh, doing fast uh, perfumes. Yeah. Okay, so the halal market is a very niche market. We all know that it's one of the hardest markets to penetrate into. Uh, so you mentioned some of the challenges uh, that you faced earlier when it comes to uh, the requirement that the uh, consumer wants from your, your halal brand of perfume. So, what are the other challenges that you face apart from that? Okay, basically one of the main challenges that I face is uh, like what I mentioned earlier on, uh, they say whether the perfume is halal. Uh, another challenge that I really face is that when you talk about perfumes, people always look into the Europe side, the US side, where the Westerns are... Uh, Perfumeries like Coco Chanel, uh, Gucci, and even uh, Salvatore Ferragamo, all those bigger names. But when you look into local market, okay, especially fast, it's really new. People will start asking, who is this fast? Um, how does it start off? But to me, this is one of the challenges that uh, I have to face. And how right. to overcome it, I have to educate them. Okay, by having uh, my own perfume workshop where I invite uh, prospective clients, even uh, those who really want to understand about perfume, I invite them, I invite them to my workshops. That's why I would right. tell them and teach them uh, the different types of perfume available. Um, you know, especially when it comes to in the Muslim market, the halal market itself, uh, how right. does right. perfumes uh, really can, you know, uh, really prosper in the halal market. 
Okay, uh, I'm very interested to know more about your perfume workshop. And uh, I'm sure there are other brands as well. Because I, I can see that, okay, uh, what I'm holding right now is actually called Fast Executive, right? But there are yep. other brands as well, right? Because I, I'm, yes, I'm sure that it's mainly for, for the guys, right? Okay, by the way, uh, Fazlin, uh, for perfumes, right, uh, it's not necessarily, uh, not necessarily for guys or women. So, because nowadays, um, you know, the perfume sense is very universal. It can be used for both men and women. Sometimes the men likes women type of perfume where it's more floral, fruity. But for women, they like a bit more musky. You know, they have a different type of range. So, perfume, they have a different level. And this is where in my workshop, I will uh, teach them. Actually, it's not because of Oh, the perfume is meant for guys, only guys will buy. Or it's meant for women, only women will buy. But basically, it's more on how you smell the perfume. Whether do you like it? Does the perfume... To be honest, yeah, firstly, if you realize, right? Uh, perfume right. actually defines your personality for the day. If you feel like dressing up, you tend to use perfume that is more uh, musky, that have a little bit of woody smell, or spices, right. and uh, less floral. But if you are more to the up, door type of person, you either go for those fresh uh, kind of perfume, like uh, what I can say for my range, I have quite a few of them. Uh, one of them is uh, is uh, Fast uh, Autumn, which is more refreshing. So right. when you go out, you don't really have that overpowering kind of smell. The one that you're holding on uh, for executive is more on, uh, on the, what I can say is a dress up, is more for the nightwear, where you have the grapefruit uh, scents and then uh, give you a little bit of musky kind of smell and give, right. give you the confidence when you wear it, okay, you feel like boost up for the day. Right, right. Yeah, I totally agree because uh, I can smell the fruity scent uh, in it, but it's not too overpowering till it comes to a point by where, you know, uh, as a guy, you feel that uh, it's too feminine, you know, in that sense, because like you really mentioned, there are uh, some musky scents uh, in it yep. as well. So it, it creates a perfect blend. Of muskiness and uh, and fruitiness in uh, in in the smell. So yeah, I think it's just well balanced, lah. I would say. Yeah. yeah. It's true, uh, funny because for me, I do a lot of research on that uh, to have a balance so that you won't uh, have a very overpowering kind of a uh, certain smell. So we'll just turn off uh, people around you. All right. Yeah. True. I totally agree with that. Okay, firstly, very quickly, mm. uh, what are your plans? Uh, for in the future for, for fast perfume to penetrate in this halal market? Okay, basically, like what I said, uh, one of the plans that I would like to go into is to educate uh, our halal industries, uh, you know, the consumer itself, uh, what perfume is all about. Okay, what, because many people have a misconception of perfume that uh, perfume is not, uh, to be honest, perfume, they need somehow a little bit of alcohol to mm. give out the scents. Because if you don't need alcohol, it will be just become a pure perfume oil. And it might even stain your clothes when you wear it. So for what I have it is that uh, I do a lot of research. And the solution that I'm using, it doesn't contain any alcohol. So we have a special blend of solution that helps to disperse the scents of the perfume. And this is where I can share it in my perfume workshop. So uh, one of the plans I intend to expand to have more of the uh, such kind workshop of uh, perfumeries where, you know, uh, we can teach, educate. Okay, consumers nowadays is not like in the past where people will just go online and just buy, but they tend to do a lot of research. They want to know more about your products before they decide yeah. to buy. So this is where I want to give the education where they, I will invite them to my perfume workshops. If they can, it's normally it will be held on every Monday to Friday. Okay, currently we have two locations. One of them is at number six, Battery Road. And another location will be at Wisma Gelang Serai. In okay. Chawa, uh, for Wisma Gelang Serai, we might uh, have in a bigger workshop. And right. uh, we might even have uh, classes for that. So we want to expand uh, the perfumeries, uh, you know, uh, workshops to all. Not only just for the halal market, but also to everyone who want to understand more about the perfumes. Oh, that's really interesting, yeah. Very, very interesting. So, how can interested parties or interested buyers keep in touch with you? Because I understand that you'll be participating in the uh, upcoming Halal Market Online Expo that will be organised by Mega Express, if I'm not wrong, on the 30th to the 1st of November, if I'm not wrong, right? 
Yes, uh, that's right. Uh, okay, for those who are interested in the halal workshop, for that matter, uh, you can join us during this uh, halal exhibition from 30th to the 1st of November. Okay, just uh, log on to uh, halalmarket.sg and go to and just search under FAST, F-A-Z, and you will find our perfume workshop uh, details over there. What you need to do, purchase the coupons that's available uh, on the halal market. Give us our contact number. Uh, give us your contact number. There will be a number uh, for you to contact us, and uh, right. let us know when is the date that you would like to have for your perfume workshop. Okay, so, that's uh, great. If you like to get perfume like what uh, Fazlin using, executive is still available in uh, Halal Market as well. Yeah, I think I think that's great. That's great because uh, as a consumer myself, I also need to know exactly what I'm buying. You know, just rather than buy, and you know, I really need to know what are the ingredients and what what makes it. The, you know, the kind of perfume that I really want. So I think these kind of information are very, very useful, yeah? In the perfume workshop, actually, you can really uh, explore over 30 cents available and you can even make your own perfumes of your own name. One of your brand name will be there. <laughs> oh, awesome, awesome. Oh, that will be great. That will be good. <laughs> okay, uh, Fazli, thank you very much to our viewers right now. If you guys are very much interested to find out more about uh, the perfume workshop that Fazli has already mentioned, please just go to www.halalmarket.sg, type F-A-Z, right, and it will lead you to Fast Perfume page, and that's where you can find his coupon. So you just buy the coupon and check out from there, and you can use the coupon to then uh, claim your classes or courses uh, straight uh, from Fazli himself. So, yep. So, Fazli, any last word for our viewers? Okay, even though I do have my uh, perfume workshop, just to highlight to you guys uh, out there who would like to book for the place, uh, I would like to apologize, uh, first of all, that uh, due to the safe distance measures, we only limit each session up to 5% only for the time being. So once the measures start to open up, expand, then we'll inform more about it uh, to halalmarket.sg, as well as you can uh, also... Uh, check out on our Facebook page, which is FAZ Fragrance. So it's fast fragrance for the uh, Facebook uh, page itself for more updates. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Fazli. Thank you very much for, for joining me in this uh, episode. And I'm looking forward to uh, working with you in the future. Inshallah. Sure. Thank you. Okay, guys. So that's Fazli for you. Right, so I hope you guys would benefit something from that talk earlier on. Right, so so do look out for the event going on this coming Friday till Sunday. Right, so you can always tune in to our Mega Express Facebook page and Halal Market Facebook page as well for more updates. Right, so till the next episode, guys. This is Fazlin. Take care and stay safe.